Ah, okay. Sabi ni e-robot, sobrang amazing daw talaga ng internet. Well, tama ka rin e-robot. Ah, okay. Nagtatanong si e-robot kung paano raw ba gumagana ng internet. Pwes, doon tayo sa ating giant window. Ganito ang e-robot. Isipin mo na parang may delivery boy. At ang delivery boy na yan ay ang tinatawag na router ng inyong computer. Oh, hello Mr. Router! <laughs> Hi! Now, pag nagsisend tayo ng files, kukunin nito ng ating delivery boy na si router para i-deliver sa ibang gadget o computer. So, yung delivery boy natin, nasa kanya na rin ang address kung saan niya i-deliver ang files. Ang tawag sa address na yan, IP address o internet protocol address. Lahat ng gadgets na connected sa internet, may sariling IP address. So yan, makikita mo si router. Inihahatid na niya yung files doon sa IP address. Pagkatapos, i-receive yun ni Mr. Router number 2. Siya naman yung router ng tao na pinadalhan natin ng files. Ayun, na-receive na niya. Yay! Di ba? Pagkatapos nun, ilalagay at ayusin na ito ni Mr. Router number 2 sa tamang folder sa loob ng gadget o computer. And boom! Makikita na ng tao receiver ang files. Ah, yes! Parang dami nangyari, no? Pero sa totoo lang, nangyayari ang lahat ng yun in less than one second. Well, depende sa bilis ng internet. <laughs> Noon, live and physical ang paglalaro sa Mystery Manila. Isa itong mystery game kung saan ginagamit ang talino and detective skills para matapos ang game at makalabas sa isang mystery room. At dahil bawal muna lumabas to play games with your friends, ang Mystery Manila may naisip na twist. You can see that it looks exact. Dahil ngayon, online na rin daw ang larong ito. We have a smaller version of the frame found in other rooms. So there's a, a camera um, with our facilitator that's connected by Zoom. So that's how you get to see what's happening in the room. And we've also developed a special um, uh, dashboard which you can access via your browser. So that's where you will see all the items that you will be finding, the puzzles, and you can interact with them more closely. We require a minimum of five players. You can do up to ten players per game. Um, no, 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 no. And, sa laro, kailangan isolve ang mysteries na nangyari sa loob ng room. At may mga trivia rin na makatutulong sa kanila para makalabas. Meron okay. kayong mga kasamang live in-game avatar o yung representative ng players. Siya ang tuturuan nyo at sasabihin ng mga gagawin sa loob ng room. In short, nasa bahay lang ang players habang nasa mystery room ang avatar. At lahat ng yan, nangyayari ng live. I think that's for the exit door. Oh, oh really? The exit door. Oh, you got this. Basically, escape zoom is like uh, experiencing our mystery rooms virtually. Live din ang event staging na ginagawa ng grupo ito. Kung saan ay sa malalaking concert venue sila nagko-conduct ng events. Ngayon, sa isang green screen room na lang. Pero ang small room na yan, nagagawa nilang malaking event venue in an instant and live! Magic? During the beginning of the pandemic, we were really affected. Kasi our livelihood depends on connecting with people. Live event siya. Pero for us, we wanted something more dynamic. Gusto natin mas may, gusto namin yung team mas may perspective. Gusto natin parang mas immersive yung experience. So nag-isip kami ng way kung paano siya gagawin to execute na medyo mas diba. Para raw maging makatotohanan ng event experience, nag-invest sila sa papapagawa ng 3D virtual stage. For um, the 3D stage virtual events, mas matagal yung prep na kailangan natin. For live events, we've done events na mga one week lang yung lead time na binibigay sa amin ganun. But for virtual events, we need at least one month. Una muna ginagawa ang design ng stage, pagkatapos ay nilalagyan ito ng iba't ibang layers para maging three-dimensional. Makatotohanan ng dating. Kaya habang live na nakatayo sa green screen ang, ang event participants, live din silang nagpupunta sa isang stage. At live din itong napapanood ng event attendees na nasa kanika nilang bahay. One of the main things na talaga naka-affect sa amin is, of course, we can't personally meet. And especially for our team, very close kasi kami. 
So, sanay kami na biglang batuhan ng ideas on the spot. The communication is really very difficult. From webinars to awarding ceremonies to concerts, walang problema. Pwedeng maging makatotohanan dahil sa three-dimensional virtual stage. Sabi ng ilan, kuminto raw ang outside world dahil sa pandemic. Andrew, I wish you many, many more awesome birthdays. To... Pero sa tulong ng imagination and technology, tuloy pa rin ang buhay sa loob ng bahay. Pasasaan ba't darating ang araw na pwede na ulit tayong mag-party? At matend ang concert and defense sa paraang nakasanayan natin noon. Until then, let's stay safe and make the most of what we have to create amazing experiences day by day. Aha!